It's your boy Shadow Wolf here coming at you with a brand new video. Today I will be doing my NBA playoff bracket. So here we have a custom bracket which I'm going to be filling out. I'm using NBA Bracketology. And first round, I don't know how the Boston Celtics got that number one seat, but they've just been playing so well. The Bulls have been a very inconsistent team this season, probably the most inconsistent team. I don't think this game, this series goes past five games. So I've got the Celtics in five there. Washington Wizards and Atlanta Hawks. That's a good one, but Washington's just had some very good games this season. John Wall's been playing very, very good. They've had some really key components, and I just don't see the Hawks winning this one. May go to six, but that's being generous. Okay. Cleveland Cavaliers, Indiana Pacers. Well, Cavs sometimes take a while to get clicked in the playoffs, but I don't think this one goes past five games. Cavs. And Toronto, Milwaukee. This will be the season of, oops, sorry, the series of the first round for the East, 100%. And you could really go either way on this one. I really want to go for the upset, um, but I think Raptors in six. But there will be a lot of buzz in Milwaukee, so congratulations to them for making it back. I think the last time the Bucks were in the playoffs were when they were the eighth seed with like Jennings and Ellis first from the Heat or something. So it's been a while for them, so I'm happy they're back. Now, Golden State and Portland. Um... Look, this looks like a better series than it probably will be. Unfortunately, I've got Golden State in five. I don't think there'll be much rust with Golden State. Um, it's going to be interesting seeing Durant back in the rotation and all that. It's going to be interesting to see how the Warriors adjust, but I don't think it takes them too long to get back in playoff mode. And I know Lillard's a great player, and they've got a really good backcourt with McCollum, and they can just put up so much any given night, so that's why I've got them taking one game, but I just don't see Warriors having to go past five games in the series. Um, Clippers and Jazz, this would be a good one. Um, Clippers obviously have the superstars, and Jazz have been playing just so well. They've surprised everyone with the fifth seed. I think people predicted them to get in the playoffs, but having that fifth seed and playing so, so well, and you got to give it to, like, Rudy Gobert, who's just been playing amazing defense this season. They've had some really good key pieces come out, and there'll be a lot of buzz, and I really want to advance into the next round. But I feel like this is do or die for Doc Rivers and the Clippers. If they get out in the first round, I think Doc's getting fired. There might be some shifts with Chris Paul and Griffin, and I think it breaks up. And for the Clippers, I don't see them falling in the first round, so I'll give it to them in six. Um, San Antonio Spurs, Memphis Grizzlies. The, you know, the Spurs are a really good team. They'll most likely make the conference finals again. But the Grizzlies always give them a very hard time, and we all know that Popovich is an amazing coach, but the Grizzlies are very, very good at creating their own game. And what I mean by that is playing to their own pace and not letting other teams dictate how they should play. And I think that they will give the Spurs a series, but Spurs take it in six. Now, Rockets Thunder, battle of the two MVP candidates. I'm planning on doing a video about Westbrook season later down because I'm a huge Westbrook fan like I sort of predicted his rise a couple of years ago no like four or five years ago um, but I'll plan on do a video of his season and how it ranks all time but in this series I thought that Westbrook would burn out honestly one third of the way through the season I'm so impressed he has this much energy but he's had the most historic season and there's not much more to do this season. I don't know how much fuel he has in the tank. And the Rockets just have so much more depth than the Thunder, obviously. Like, that's one of the key reasons why people are downplaying hard in season. But, you know, yeah, i got to give it to the, the Rockets. I think Thunder will get a couple games in. I My heart says five, but I'm going to give him six because I really like Westbrook. <laughs> but, um, yeah. The Rockets are just not losing to the Thunder in the first round. We can't do that. Okay, Celtics Wizards. I feel like the Celtics want to prove that their number one seed wasn't a fluke or that the Cavs weren't really trying and they really want to stay there. 
And even though the Wizards have been having a really, really, really good season, I'm going to give the Celtics in six. Um, I think Isaiah Thomas leaves them to the conference finals. But the Cavs and Raptors, well, I think obviously the Cavs will beat the Raptors. I want to put them in five games as well. I think the Cavaliers are just going to go really, really tough. They want to get out of this series because they're really worried about the Celtics this year. Um, but the Cleveland Cavaliers, every time they've been a second seed with LeBron, LeBron's taken them to the NBA Finals. Even with the Heat, every number two seed LeBron's been, I think, has been taking him to the Finals. So that's a really good statistic you need to know. Um, Golden State Warriors, LA Clippers. As I said, it's do or die for Doc and the Clippers this year, and unfortunately, I see them dying. It's been a good run, but, you know, I'm not saying Doc Rivers' um, championship with the Celtics was a fluke by any means, but it's just been very disappointing the past three years of all the buzz of all the superstars and the Clippers not really... No, it's, it's not that the Clippers haven't lived up to the hype, but they're not going to get past the Spurs or the Warriors or they, the Thunder a few years ago. Like, there's no way, and the Rockets this year, that, that there's no way that there's just too many good teams for the Clippers to burst, and the Warriors will take this in six because I feel like the, even if the, the Warriors get up to a 2 0 3 1 lead or whatever, the Clippers will still try and fight for a couple more games, but but the Warriors will take that in six. And now Spurs, Rockets, this will be, um, besides the Bucks and Raptors, this will be the next really good series, I think. Um, and I'm gonna give it the Spurs in seven, because that is just gonna be a great season. And I would not even be surprised if the Rockets win that. I really feel like James Harden really wants to prove that He's been winning this season and that he can take his team to the conference finals. And I feel like that's really important for him, even if he doesn't get, even because he he probably won't get MVP, let's be honest. Because if you vote for Harden, you vote against Westbrook. And how can you vote against Westbrook? Like, it's just really, really stupid. Um, but yes, I feel like the Spurs will creep past them in seven, but I will not be surprised if it falls the other way. Actually, you know what? I want to give it the Rockets, just for the upset. I want the Rockets to beat the Spurs, and that's going to be a great series, and it's going to go either way, but I reckon Rockets. I really think Rockets. Okay, so we've got the Boston Celtics, Cleveland Cavaliers. Celtics, this will be another really good series, of course. Um, there's no denying LeBron out of the playoffs again this year, unfortunately. The Celtics did have a good run, but the Cavaliers will get there in six. I do not see LeBron not making the finals this year. Even though his team's been a bit slow the past couple of weeks, I don't know if it's um, end of season rust or whatever it is, the Cavaliers will get back into playoff mode and they will make the finals again. Golden State Warriors, Houston Rockets. Dude, this is a very, very tough one. But I'm actually sending the Rockets to the finals. I was going to send the Spurs to the finals, but because had Houston upsetting them. I feel like Golden State, they've, they've just... They're not going to make the finals this year. They've given away so many pieces to get Durant. And, of course, Durant's a great player and all. But, really, I think Houston's depth on the bench will be the trouble of worries. I just don't think they have enough depth this year to make the finals. And I'm going to give Houston a six here. What did I say? Six, six. Yep, okay. And so we've got the Cavaliers versus Rockets in the finals. It's going to be so much buzz in Houston about this, if this is true. Hmm... And I was actually going to say Spurs are going to win it all, so I need to rethink this between the Rockets and Cavaliers now. There's going to be some amazing plays. This will be like, I'm sure this will be like a three-point shooting barrage. Like, this will be absolutely crazy. I feel like Beverly can play okay defense against Irving. Can't lock him down, obviously. There'll be some very good matchups in that series and good factors. Um... I honestly think this one can go either way. If Cavaliers win, it will be in seven games. If Rockets win, it will be in five or six, I think. Um, you know what? I'm going to give Rockets six and the finals the shocker one because I like thinking of upsets in the playoffs. I like going the non-obvious pick. And I'm picking the Houston Rockets to win the NBA Finals this year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want my video on Westbrook's historic season, 
let me know in the comments below and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will have a lot more coming for you soon. Peace.